Hey guys, it's Jim Halterman from TV Insider. I'm here with the stars of The Connors, Sarah Gilbert and J.R. Ferguson. Good to see you guys. Hello. Great to see you. So uh, this week's episode is, is huge. Um, how do you go about getting Candace Bergen on your show? She's Once she's super busy, she's in all these movies and things. How did, you, how did she come to be on The Connors? Honestly, it's just luck. I mean, <laughs> we asked and she said, yes, it's really <laughs> kind of that simple. I wish that I had done more and I could say like all the tricks <laughs> I pulled out and what a great producer I am. But yeah, we just, we got lucky. And I mean, she's an incredible actress, just an icon and she did not disappoint. And Jay, when you heard she would be playing your mother, went, what went through your head? Uh, fear, a lot of fear and terror. <laughs> uh, she's a legend, uh, like Sarah was saying. And, and um, you know, when I'm around uh, folks like that, I just try to listen as much as I can because you never know what you'll get to pick up. And, and she didn't disappoint. It was a lot of fun, uh, a lot of hilarious laughter from the first moment she was there. And uh, I, I was in awe. And Jay, what, what's his relationship like with his mother? With his with his mother? Are they close? Are they not close? How was that? I think it's complicated. Uh, it's it's a it's a, a bit of a strenuous relationship uh, for Ben anyway. Um, she might be a little bit more uh, unaware uh, of how Ben feels, but that that all comes to a head a little bit in in this episode. Okay. And Darlene knows a little bit about family tragedies because I've been several in, in her life. How, how is she handling what Ben's going through as his partner? I think she's trying to be comforting to him, but that's probably not her strong suit. So she's struggling to say the right thing. And um, <laughs> yeah, and and then I think she's dealing with the fallout of what Candace's character Barb has has revealed. Okay. And how, uh, Jay, how would you describe his mother? Um, is she kind of the loving, comforting type of mother or a little more abrasive? Where does she fall in that range? I, I, I would say she leans more in the direction of abrasive than, than <laughs> warm and comforting. Um, yeah, and, and uh, listen, I think that all uh, mothers and sons uh, can relate. Uh, to 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 you know those relationships being a little bit stressful sometimes. Uh, I'm certainly no exception. So Sarah and I were were, were laughing periodically over the course of this episode uh, about some of the parallels, and uh, uh, but we had a lot of fun with it, and um, you, you know it was a dream. Yeah, Jay and I have known each other since we were like 15, 14, 15. <laughs> So I, his mom was, you know, Southern. I used to hear her in the background, Jay Roland, you know. <laughs> and so when we saw this character, we were like, oh, yeah. I mean, she's, his mother is much kinder, but, yeah. but, but we were laughing. The episode's also a good one for people that are watching for Becky and Emilio and what's going to happen with their relationship. Sarah, can you tease a little bit? Because I, I would like to see them together, but it doesn't seem to be an easy course for them. Can you talk about that a little bit? Emilio and Becky are spending more time together in the episode. I think he's got feelings for her and is, is hopeful that she wants to move in that direction and got to kind of see where it goes. Okay. And I'm also a fan of Ben and Darlene, and I know their road has been a little rocky, as you would expect on the counters. Are wedding bells going to happen this season? What would you guys like to see? I mean, they're already living together, but what's the next step for them? I think their relationship is going to come to a head at some point because they're, you know, Ben really wants to move forward and have a life with her, live together. Darlene historically has sort of wanted to be with Ben, cheated with David, come back to being with Ben. They were going to look for an apartment. Wait, I can't. I have to pay, help pay the mortgage, come live with me there. So historically, he move forward and she kind of keeps holding them back so we got to uncover what's going on for her psychologically if it is all just about her father but that's definitely something that we need to address and explore in their relationship. 